guys, it's me Zoya and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to do a quick recap of what happened um, in my last video. I was pretty much really stressed about graduating but um, now I'm done with all of my exams, I'm done with all of my projects and I'm just, I just have a week in Athens just to chill pretty much. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys around with me. I pretty much just like, I'm going to like go on a date with myself. I feel like people have been doing those videos a lot and I've wanted to try that because I love hanging out by myself. So yeah, we're gonna walk to Starbucks because I'm very embarrassed to stay, but um, I've been obsessed with iced matcha lattes. So we're gonna go to Starbucks, we're gonna go shopping and I'm gonna talk to you guys about my uni plans and everything. Hopefully you can find a nice little park. Ooh, lighting is so intense. Um, so yeah, I recently uh, talked about how whenever I get stressed, I get breakouts and because I was taking my exam, I got breakouts a little bit and these breakouts have reduced in the last few weeks and I think it's because of me being able to add stuff to my skincare routine and the serum that I'm specifically using is Dr. Shade's Amla Vitamin C Serum and serums are great, I think so many people skip it for their skincare routine I spread it lightly all over my skin and after the serum I usually moisturize but even after moisturizing there's one step this is the step that I would always 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 skip so the sunscreen that I've been using is the ceramide and vitamin C sunscreen by Dr. Shades so yeah this is made up of 1% of ceramide complex vitamin C complex hyaluronic acid and also mineral and organic filters so I just take a little bit of this on my hand and then I tap it onto the four zones of my face I guess four or five and I spread it out and yeah this gives my face a very good base for makeup since I can like now put makeup on top of it. It's also like, it's not oily so it doesn't make my skin like feel very oily or anything. It just is perfect. Um, experience in skincare means a lot and Dr. Shets has 90 years of experience in skincare specifically which makes Dr. Shets very reliable and able to understand Indian skin specifically which is why I am so confident in them and in trusting them with my skin. I've also seen on social media that a lot of um, celebrities like Sonam Kapoor or Sara Ali Khan, they've been using Dr. Shades recently. And yeah, overall, it hasn't disappointed me and I'm very happy to use it. So, I think Athens might be my one of my favorite cities that I've ever been to. It's not that big of a city that people don't seem real and things seem overwhelming, but it's not small enough that there's nothing to do. So, um, I really love Athens. I could see myself living here at some point in time because everyone speaks English. And it's like, you can really talk to the locals and everyone. So, yeah, we're gonna walk. It's a, it's a 20 minute walk. But I think living here has taught me that 20 minutes is nothing and walking is kind of really fun. So, yeah. I'm so sick of all these pretty boys trying to act like the shed. Starbucks they actually kicked me out um and I'm, I keep I kept going back <laughs> they kicked me out because I didn't have a mask on me and which is fair enough you know I just forgot my mask I'm a forgetful little person fair enough kick me out so pretty much Starbucks is my preferred filming location I just couldn't find a park in this proximity um but yeah uh, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me questions about like university stuff because I haven't talked about that that much so I'm gonna talk about it um so every single time that I've come to Starbucks I always see people from my school here so um I'm just gonna pretend that I don't see them if even if I see someone because I just want to finish this video so yeah I got my matcha latte and I wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like there's so much I haven't addressed and you guys keep asking me 
what am I doing for uni? Where am I going? Why am I in Athens? And I think the why am I in Athens part, I've explained it so many times on my channel. But I think since it keeps growing, more and more people don't know. So I'll give it a short intro. I go to a traveling high school. We do, we do four countries a year. Um, in January to March, I was in Mexico. And right now I'm in Athens. And now I'm going to graduate. Yay! Um, so as you know, I was a grade 12, which meant that I was applying for colleges throughout this year. And, oh my god, I feel like I need drum rolls for this. Yeah, I was applying for colleges throughout the year. I applied to a bunch of places around the US and Canada. Although I'm not gonna lie, I lost interest in the Canadian colleges by the end of it. Um, so whatever. Um, I got great financial aid, which was very important for me. Um, I got into a couple, I got into like 10 other universities or 8 other universities. But um, a lot of them didn't offer the best financial aid. Some of them I didn't, I ended up not liking as much as I did while I applied. I never ever thought that I was going to get into my dream university. And Duke Kunshan is definitely... Um, this university that I never thought I was gonna get into mainly because the acceptance rate dropped to like 5% after this year and I was like I'm not that smart to end up in this crazy school with all these smart people so I think instead of just like being like oh my god I don't belong here I want to go in with that mindset of I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I do belong here so I don't know. I'm really excited to be starting out at Duke. Another one of the questions was, what are you going to study? Um, I, I'm not sure I fully know yet. Um, so the thing about American universities is that you have your full first year to explore your interests, take a bunch of different classes and see what you want to study. I think I know the general area and that's why I can take my first year classes in that general area, which is very related to biology. So like neuroscience, um, psychology, like biology related stuff um, and I just want to be able to make use of my first year like genuinely exploring what I want to study um, I think a lot of you guys also want to go to the school that I'm in right now like you guys want to apply here um, and you guys have been asking me for tips to apply to TGS um, I think my biggest tip is just be yourself if this program is meant to be for you they are gonna take you in if it's not you're gonna struggle here so much like i know people at my school who have realized after that the school wasn't for them the traveling wasn't for them the curriculum wasn't for them like this is not a normal school the curriculum is very different and you're gonna struggle in a lot of different ways other than just academic struggles so um yeah just be yourself on the application if you're meant to be here you will be and also the school isn't expensive at all they offer as much financial aid as you need just put down how much you can pay and most likely you're going to be able to pay that much so yeah just be honest about your financial needs and they will give you great financial aid college application tips and extracurricular college tips please i think something i did and that's the reason that i'm going into one of my top choice colleges is that i really really picked out a college that I loved not just because it was a high-ranking college or high-ranking university but it was because I loved that program I loved like I don't know I love the program I love the philosophy of the university I love why it was what it was based upon and I think they could really see through they could see really see that through my application and I would suggest just picking out a university that you don't just like because it's like high ranked or it's like a prestigious university like there's a million prestigious universities not a million but you get the point there's so many prestigious universities and you just have to pick out the one that feels right to you that's a good match to you because not not only are the colleges selecting you but you're selecting the colleges as well so just make sure that your process is as selective as is the college that you want to go to um also just really pay attention on financial aid i think it's amazing to be out of university and not be in debt um because american universities are so expensive um but yeah duke kunshan gave me great aid and that's why I'm excited to go there. 
So yeah, a little bit about the university that I'm going to. I'm going to Duke Kunshan University, which is Duke's sec Duke's like kind of secondary campus on in China. So it's a collaboration between Wuhan University and Duke University in China. Um, the reason I wanted to go here is because the Chinese culture has always. intrigued me a lot and i think i really loved their research programs which is also something that i was very interested in um i so as you guys know china is on lockdown right now the situation in shanghai is really bad so it's very difficult for foreign nationals to enter china currently so that's why i'm going to be spending my first year in barcelona which is their international campus um yeah i really like duke i think um i'm really happy to be studying in a duke university program i think i'm going to go shopping let's let's go shopping okay h&m was such a fail we are going to stradivarius for the shoes um I still don't know what I'm going to do about the dress but it's fine it's whatever. Okay. okay, I'm back in my room guys. You guys might wonder why did I come back? Who just goes back randomly? The reason I got back is that I was here my apartment studio place is here and the place i want to go for lunch is here so i had to pass through my apartment and i was so thirsty so i just came back to my room to drink water i'm so hungry now so i'm going to go to my favorite pasta place because i'm feeling pasta and we're going to get tuna parmigiano um i already know my order which is so sad but i want to show you guys what i got before we go there and The only thing that I got from my very long shopping trip was this top. It says right now the only thing that matters is right now, which I thought was so beautiful. I think I I think I really really identify with that phrase. And also it was so cute. I really loved how like it's like semi-circular so it like it's like very flattering on my body and it's like such good quality. So I got it. Um Yeah? Yeah. I I love I sometimes I think the only way to feel good and validated about myself is it just comparison with other people because I think that's the only way to actually think oh I'm beautiful when you compare yourself with other people and I want to get to a point in my life where I think I'm beautiful without comparing myself with anyone else like i don't want to think i'm beautiful because of certain traits that i have i don't want to think i'm beautiful because of clear skin or like feeling like i'm not bloated today i want to feel beautiful because i think i'm beautiful not because of my abs that look good today or like not those things that make you think that you're beautiful i just wanted to come from within that every day they look at myself even if i'm like bloated that day even if i have a ton of acne that day even if my hair looks horrible even if my hair is frizzy like whatever happens that day i still want to feel beautiful and i don't want to compare myself with anyone i think that's like the biggest self development thing that i want to do for myself because i unconsciously see myself comparing myself to other people so much so like today i was walking and i saw this i saw, I saw this girl and she was like so gorgeous she was like hot she was tall she had like like really nice curls and i was like oh my god i'm a freaking midget i think i hate how short i am and when i see like really tall people i automatically feel intimidated i'm like i'm short and i think there's like its own pros to that um i'm still beautiful it doesn't make me any less beautiful and i had to like remind myself that instead of that being my natural thought i was like oh my god she's so freaking tall i'm never going to be that tall maybe i'll grow like 1 cm which even that seems impossible now <laughs> because i haven't grown since i was 12 But yeah, it is what it is. I'm short for a reason. Maybe, maybe I, maybe someone will find me cute. Again, okay, that's the mindset. I don't need anyone to find me cute. I find myself gorgeous. 
and also uh, also i need to learn how to accept compliments when someone compliments me i need to be like thank you instead of oh my god that's not true you know so yeah we are going to a pasta place and i will talk to you guys while i am at the pasta place so it'll be fun someone asked me if i had any mental breakdowns while being away from my parents and being alone i want to say yes or no i want to say yes i think i had stressful breakdowns where i was like oh my god i don't know what to do but i think initially when i went through like something like that and i didn't have my parents or my friends that i grew up with around me to like go back into that comforting environment i was like I feel uncomfortable because I'm growing, and I think I learned a lot of emotional independence. So I think I'm at at a point now from like this experience where I don't think I need other people. So when I'm down, I don't think I need the presence of other people to get back and feel okay again. I think this is like one of the things that I'm really grateful for for my school, like being able to be emotionally independent. How to focus on studies during this age where friends, fun, and adventure attract you a lot. I think if friends, fun, and adventure attract you a lot, it's for a reason. I've heard this perspective a lot, especially like from people that went to my school. It's like, oh, this is the age you're supposed to work hard and study, and you're gonna have the rest of your life to just party and enjoy. That's so true. You're always gonna have things that are gonna stop you from living your life. At one point you're gonna have a job. At one point you're gonna have children. At one point you're gonna like you're always gonna have like these things that are gonna stop you from like living your life to the fullest. I think it's like important to find a balance at this age. Like if you want to travel, if you want to have fun, if you want to party right now, go for it. Like this is not your age to study. Yes, this is your age to study, but you need to find a balance because your life is like flowing. It's not gonna stop for you. When you look back at your life, would you do you think you're gonna remember all of that time? So you were in your bedroom and you were looking at textbooks and you were studying, or you're gonna remember like the fun that you had, the memories that you made. So I think with that perspective just really changes everything. I feel like every time that I feel guilty for like not working and, and instead of like doing something else and having fun, I just think of this like this is the stuff I'm gonna remember instead of sitting in my room and cramming for an exam. We're going to the gym. I you thought I already said that. that, but now we are actually on our way. We're actually very close to the gym. Let's go. Awesome. This queen takes a lift for one floor. Yeah, because it's the one giant floor. It's not. It's big. It's like one and a half floors. It's one ginormous floor. Shut up. Go. 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 Go.